a new tablet was sent to me. This one is by AGM Mobile. I have actually reviewed one of their tablets before and it was quite good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I thought it was a nice tablet. And most importantly, it was quite good for the price. This one here is the Smart Pad by AGM Mobile. You can see that it's a rugged tablet. So it's supposed to be, generally speaking, something that can get beat up a bit and still perform very well. However, this one here still does have pretty good specs despite the fact that it's rugged. A lot of the time these rugged style tablets yeah, a lot of the time they do compromise on quality. I'd say, you know, they're missing some of the nice to haves because they're rugged or whatever. So this one here has Android 14, at least Android 14, eight, pic, eight megapixel front, 50 megapixel rear cameras. So that's pretty good. It supports nano SIM, I'll see dual nano SIM. Uh, the resolution is pretty good. So 1200 by 1920, so just FHD. It's not a gigantic screen, so I suspect that'll be fine. And then, you know, all the other specs, all the connection in that too. So looks pretty good. This one here is a eight gigabyte RAM, 256 ROM. So that should be pretty good. I mean, sometimes these things can be pretty anemic, uh, but I found that the AGM one that I reviewed in the past was not anemic by any means. It was actually a pretty good tablet. This one here, we'll take that out there and see what goodies we come with first here. Find your glory. Little plugs so you can plug up the, uh, you know, the ports and that. Again, if you're gonna be definitely taking it into water, you might wanna use that. And then you do have your charger here. 20 watt max charger, 20 watts max charger. Obviously it's not some super thin, super sleek thing because it's supposed to be a rugged tablet. So by definition, it should be rugged and a little bit bigger, a little bit boxier, almost like a tablet that has a case already on it. So uh, it's a rugged tablet. So, you know, it's not gonna be super thin or anything like that. You actually have most of this built in. You can see it does have a nice large kind of plastic body, relatively thick. Keep it sturdy rubberized corners there so if you drop it it's not going to break rubberized top there front facing camera there very good speakers i'm not sure where they are maybe built in probably there and there i would guess this thing some design on the back here your two your uh, primary camera there the 50 megapixel with the light there looks pretty good uh this is a stand obviously so you can go like that that feels pretty rugged Stand it up, kind of nice to just set it in my kitchen. On this side here, we do have our power there. Uh, no buttons on this side, where's the volume then? Oh, volume up, volume down, so it's good. All rubberized. USB-C cover is, oh, it's a thick thing there. You can see that in there. You do have, it actually comes with a cover, I suppose. So I guess you, yeah, so you can unscrew that. Those are replacements, I guess, then, if you lose them. So I guess I won't need those because it comes with them already. USB-C seal that up so there's two levels of seal you seal that up first then you seal that up there so you know if this thing leaks a little bit then you'll have the inside one too this looks pretty plumb up to it though like i'm not seeing really anything in between there right that's pretty flush there so i think that's probably pretty good all right it's looking good this is probably one of their normal tablets inside of here that's my guess because it looks like the other one but then they just like armored it like armored the crap out of it so i mean you get this really industrial case you could probably take this off but i do just want to have a look yeah it's it's on there really well so you could obviously pull this off so they do give the ability to probably remove this it's just the tablet inside like this doesn't look like it's built into it it's not so you could pull all this like ruggedness off right see if you really wanted to you could pull it off there and then you have your tablet inside there right plastic interior protector plus the rubberized so you could pull it off if you want to down the road turn it into a non rugged tablet or i don't know take it off and not use it rugged all the time uh, but as it is yeah it's you know comes as a rugged format but down the road if you want to take that off you could so you're not locked into anything there looks pretty good though let's um plug it in fire it up and give it a test okay so it's the next day i've just done updates and installed a bunch of stuff actually and uh spoiler alert i've used the tablet now this is the same tablet realistically as the AGM tablet I've already reviewed. So it's not like it's a big shocker that it's, you know, a decent tablet. I like that tablet actually quite a bit, especially for the price. It had really good respect. It had good specs for the price. Everything was nice and snappy. The primary difference here is this one now is, is a rugged version. So it's gonna be, you know, if you're gonna beat it up, it's gonna be a little bit more rugged. Eight plus eight gigs RAM, very nice. You're gonna get 256 of storage, very nice. Uh, of course you expand that and then you know you get all your typical stuff here it doesn't really say uh what 
uh, CPU it is, but it's a, it's a MediaTek G99, so good. It's not going to be some flagship Snapdragon 3, something like that. But, I mean, bang for the buck, it's quite good. And still going to be capable of being very, very, very snappy with apps and that. And even doing gaming, it's going to be totally fine. So a little bit of Genshin here, just to show that it can play games. I mean, again, it's the same tablet that I reviewed before. It's just a rugged version. And then what we'll do is we'll just basically, uh, you know, maybe come in and beat it up a little bit. It's not the most, be most behemoth uh, SOC you can get, but it's fine, to be honest. It don't need to do lowest. We can go medium, just depending on what the resolution is. So... We can go medium like that, probably 40, probably, I mean, we could probably do that. The render resolution will have to be down. So one of them has to go down, right? You can't just set everything to max on a uh, G99. So this is medium everything and then turn down the render resolution. Personally, I like to do the opposite. I just find it, I don't know, just looks less blocky because she looks a little blocky, whatever her name is. See, and it does have a little bit of like. So you go low, not lowest, you just don't need to do that. Render resolution, you can set the medium as a result. You can turn this up if need be. So kind of just like a mixed bag here. Lower, but then the red and the resolution, just having her up a little bit, I just find it looks better. Right. Of course, if you don't find that it's snappy enough, you can come in, you can just tweak a little bit here. And you can say visual effects, I don't know, low, shadow quality, like some of these things probably don't matter that much. Environment detail, you can probably leave that up. Kind of like a medium, low mix. Yeah. Again, it's not a flagship SOC, right? But this is one of the most demanding games you can play. It's a very demanding title, and it's going to run just fine, realistically. See? So, I mean, for gaming, you know, you're going to be just fine. Demanding, more demanding games like this are going to run, I mean, fine, to be honest. Uh, you know, you can get into some emulation on that. It's going to be totally fine. I do find that the screen on this is a pretty nice screen. Again, it's not the highest resolution or anything like that, but typically I do find that it is a pretty nice screen actually. Uh, again, for the price, it's a little bit pink here, but it's definitely still very saturated at least. It's a little bit pink, I would say, but overall it's a good screen. All right, normally to get into a screen like this, you're paying a lot more for a tablet. All right, nice and vivid greens. Everything looks nice and vivid. Uh, again, it's like a 1200p, 10, 1080p style resolution here, but it's such a, like, not a huge tablet or anything, so it looks nice and crisp. Yeah, so for media consumption, it's quite nice, actually. I mean, I used the other tablet for months, to be honest. If I knock it over or spill something out, it's going to be a little bit more resilient. But uh, the screen's quite nice, right? And the audio, typically, I find on these is pretty good. I am going to check, though, because it does have a shell on the back. It might kill some of that. Okay, so we'll just come in here and we'll check the audio here. Um, the thing that I'm concerned about is, you know, it has the speakers here on the back, on there, so I'm not sure how well it's gonna work through this case. It's not impacted by the, the uh, shell itself. It's not cutting into the sound at all. And these are actually good speakers. Again, they're not like a, they're not gonna be as nice as a, uh, you know, iPad or something like that, like an iPad Pro, obviously. Um, but they're nice, actually. They have nice and rich, nice and loud, clear, no tinniness. So they're actually good speakers. I've found that the other model, which is the same thing, just, you know, in a different case, I found it was quite nice, actually, for media consumption in general. Let's break a tablet. This is a downstairs sink with a tablet, some water. Ah, I love washing my tablet. This is a, uh, this is a like rock style floor. That should suffice. You can see inside here that that interior gasket really did protect the device from getting any water inside of it. I actually don't really notice any water inside this little opening here other than when I opened it up to basically throw it. 
but the water didn't seem to get in. However, this little interior gasket seems to help quite a bit anyways. You can see inside here that that interior gasket really did protect the device from... Yeah, so I think uh, that's pretty good. I mean, nice tablet. Everything's good. Realistically, I liked it last time, and I like this one the same because it's the same tablet.